Concept 15, Adding, Subtracting, and Multiplying Polynomials. Let's get some definitions, vocabulary, and formulas down on your note sheet. First thing that we're going to talk a lot about are like terms when we're combining um, polynomial functions. So like terms are terms that have the same variables, the exact same variables and powers. Their coefficients do not have to match, but the variables and the powers do. The second thing that we're going to use is something that we call the FOIL method. This is FOIL, F-O-I-L, is just an acronym for a process that we use to multiply two binomials together. And F stands for the first terms together. So you can see I have this, an example, that, this example for you. So our first terms are an X and an X. So we would multiply those together and we would get X squared. And then O stands for our outer. So x times 5 is 5x, and it's positive, so we will just connect those with whatever sign they are, positive or negative. i stands for inner, so our inner terms are negative 5 and x, so if we multiply, we get negative 5x, and that's how we connect that term. And then finally, our last terms are the last in, in the binomial, so negative 5 and then 5. And if you multiply those together, you get negative 25. And then if we simplified that, positive 5x minus 5x is 0. So simplified would be x squared minus 25. So that's just a review on how to multiply two binomials together using what we call the FOIL method. And then finally, we're going to use a product of exponents. And so this is called um, the product of powers rule. So when multiplying same bases together, you're going to add the powers. So the example that I have, it's kind of small, but what it is is it is 8 to the 4th power times 8 to the 3rd power. And so if my bases, which are the numbers or the variables that are being raised to the power, are the same, then I can add those exponents. So it will be the same base raised to the 4 plus 3, or 8 raised to the 7th power. So that is a property that we're going to use. All right, look at example 1 with me. We're going to add some polynomials together. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add them in vertical format. So you just start with your first polynomial and you write it down. So we've got 3x to the 3rd power. plus 2x squared minus x minus 7. And then I'm going to place the other one underneath it, lining up my terms. So my x cubed goes underneath my 3x cubed. My minus 10x squared goes underneath my 2x squared. And then plus 8 goes underneath that minus 7. And then out to the side, I'm going to write just a, a plus sign because I'm adding these. So now I just add vertically. 3x cubes plus one more x cubes gives me 4x cubes. 2x squared minus 10 gives me negative 8x squared. Negative x minus nothing, or plus nothing, I'm sorry, is just negative x. And then negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1. And then you just do a check and see if there's any simplifying, any combining of like terms um, that we need to do and there isn't. And so that is our new polynomial. You can also add those in horizontal format and that are polynomials. That's just keeping them side by side. So you just write them next to each other. 9y cubed plus 3y squared minus 2y plus 1 plus a negative 5y squared plus y minus 4. And then just start by combining like terms. I usually cross them off as I go. There's no other y cubed, so that term stands on its own. Then I have 3y squared minus 5y squared, which will give me negative 2y squared. Then I have negative 2y's plus y which will give me just negative 1y. And then finally, 1 
minus 4 is minus 3. I do a final check, make sure there's no more combining that I can do of like terms. And when there is it, I realize that that is my new polynomial. We can subtract polynomials in the same way. When you read the problem, just make sure you read it carefully. It says subtract 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus x plus 1. So that's just one entire polynomial <laughs> from the next one that they list. And I'll put that one in parentheses as well. So in vertical format, I'm going to stack them. I'm subtracting the first one from the second. So I'm going to start by listing the second one. So 8x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. I'm going to line up my terms. So 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus x plus 1. And then I draw a line and out to the side I usually put a subtraction. I just circle it so I know that that's the subtraction for my entire problem. And then you take it one term at a time. 8x cubed minus 2 will give you 6x cubed. Negative 3x squared uh, minus 6 will give you negative 9x squared. Negative 2x plus x, because when you subtract a negative, it's like adding, will give you negative x. And then finally, 9 minus 1 will give you positive 8. So you just have to watch your signs in that method. Now, B, we can subtract it just by sitting them next to each other. Again, watch the wording of the problem. This says subtract this first one from the second one. So I'm going to write the second one first. And then when I subtract, I'm going to group this, this one, 3z squared plus z minus 4. Because I need to subtract all of it. I'm going to rewrite my first two terms and then I'm going to distribute this negative 1. So that'll be negative 3 z squared minus z plus 4. And then working left to right, 2 z squared minus 3 will just give me negative 1 z squared. 3 z minus z will give me positive 2 z's and then plus 4. Now we're going to multiply polynomials. I'm going to show you how to multiply them vertically. So it's a lot like adding and subtracting. Take the longer, because order doesn't matter in multiplication, but take, if one of them is longer, place that one on top. So negative x squared plus 2x plus 4. And then you're going to multiply by x minus 3. And you draw a line, and then I just put an old-time multiplication symbol. Now you multiply just like you did with column multiplication. So we'll start with negative 3 times 4, which will be negative 12. And then we move to negative 3 times 2x, which is negative 6x. And then negative 3 times negative x squared, which will give us positive 3x squared. Then I add my 0 and I move over to my x and I multiply x times 4. I'm going to put just a plus between there, which is 4x. Then I multiply x times 2x, and that's a positive 4x. I'm going to put that sign. x times positive 2x, which gives me positive 2x squared. So I'm going to put that sign in front. And then finally, x times negative x squared which will give me negative x cubed. Then I draw my line, and now I'm just going to work left to right, and I'm going to add all those terms. So negative x cubed, there's nothing to combine. And then I'll have a positive 5x squared, a negative 2x, and then negative 12 plus 0 is negative 12. In horizontal format, I usually put the smaller term first. So y plus 5 times 3y squared minus 2y plus 2. You need to take and start with 
the first term and the first expression, and you just multiply it by everything that's in the second. So we'll have 3y cubed. y times negative 2y is negative 2y squared. And then y times 2 is positive 2y. Then I move to my second term and I multiply that by each of the terms that are in the second expression. So everything in the first times each of the terms in the second. So 5 times 3y squared is positive 15y squared. 5 times negative 2y is negative 10y. And then 5 times 2 is positive 10. And now just combine your terms, work left to right, so there's no other y cubes. We've got negative 2y squared plus 15, so that'll give us positive 13y squared. 2y minus 10y is a negative 8y, and then plus 10. On example 4, we have three binomials. Remember, those are polynomials with two terms, so we've got 1, 2, 3. Horizontal format, which means we just set them next to each other. And then you just start by multiplying the first two together, and you just ignore the third one for a moment. So I'm going to FOIL. I'm going to change colors here. So first terms together which is x squared, x times x. Outside terms together, x times 4 is a positive 4x, so I connect it with this, its sign. Inside, negative 1 times x is a negative 1x. And then finally, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And then I just clean this up, 4x minus x, because those terms are like, they have the same variable, so I can add them. And now I bring down my x plus 5. And now I just multiply everything in my first expression times the terms in my second. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 5 is 5x squared. Then I move to my next term. 3x times x is positive 3x squared. 3x times 5 is positive 15x. And then I move to my last one. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Now work left to right and combine like terms. So we have x cubed. And then plus 5 and 3 is 8x squared. 15 minus 4 is 11x, and then bring down your negative 20. Now there are some multiplication problems of polynomials that you will see all the time. So I put some patterns down there um, on your note sheet for you to look at. Here's the one that you need to memorize. This one happens all the time. It's a sum and difference. When you have two terms that are the same, so you can see in this first example, it is 4n plus 5 times 4n minus 5. So see how 4n and 5 are the same, but the only thing that's different is that the signs are opposite. When you multiply them together, you're going to end up getting the first term squared. So that means the 4 will be squared and the n will be squared minus the last term squared. So we're just thinking about the f number 5, not with the positive or the negative. That squared is 25. So this is what this pattern says, that you will get a squared, or the first term squared, minus b squared, or the second term squared. And here's another example. Now let me do the FOIL to show you how this works. So first terms together gives you 14n squared. Outside will give you negative 20n. Inside will give you positive 20n. And then last is negative 25. So these 
will combine to equal zero and you'll get 16n squared minus 25 which is just what I wrote there the first term 4n squared minus the second term squared 5 squared now pause the video and do the independent practice and then come back and check your work when you add those two polynomials you should get 4x squared plus 7x minus 9 when you find the difference or subtract the polynomials on number 2, you should get negative 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6x plus 2. On number 3, the error is, is that the negative was not distributed all the way through. So this term should actually be plus 15x cubed and minus 21x squared. When you multiply these three binomials together, you'll end up with x cubed minus 13x plus 12.